Hey folks, once you're all, welcome back to another Pokemon Master video, and today we're going to go over the, you know, um, I, I think this should be like the last of, of most of the uh, data mine, right? Um, for, for some reason, the stuff just came out uh, relatively slow this time around. Uh, Many Emeralds had some issues with his phone and stuff, uh, but we've had, you know, Crash and other folks, uh, you know, Eternal Stay and stuff. Uh, help us get more of this info. So let's go over them real quick. This is a long and bonus that we have right now So nothing much to talk about. We us have this up. I mean these are you know already stuff that's going on Everyone knows those. Um, there's another one that starts on the 7th and and runs uh, You know for for quite a while um, It's just a bunch of gems and skip tickets There's nothing again long and bonus not nothing much to talk about except for again the fact that we're getting a lot of uh gems i guess um oh one thing that is um i think that does deserve a mention is that uh the stamina refills end on the 8th and then we won't get any more uh, unless again you know we get more data download we get new um login bonuses and stuff it does seem like it's probably going to end on the 8th which is right about when i think the palkia legendary event uh, begins right which is Oh, no, it's not. It's the, um, no, 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 that's the 16th, uh, when the Rock-type Egg event begins, which is a slight issue, right? Rock-type Egg event starts on the 10th, and, um, it is an issue because, like I mentioned before, like, Rock-type Egg event, it would be really, really nice if we <laughs> kept the, um, you know, stamina login bonuses, this, you know, 200 stamina refill, uh, every day, because not only do the Rock-type egg event um costs 20 stamina per stage i think it's 20 or something it's also not guaranteed to drop you an egg <laughs> so that's pretty bad right um you don't get a guarantee egg drop and it costs stamina um so hey you could completely just use 20 stamina and get like nothing 20 stamina is what two hours worth of the refill yeah, that's two hours of you not hatching an egg, <laughs> right? Um, not a fan, not a fan of that system at all. Um, don't like it, don't like it. Um, I mean, like, honestly, like, right now, we really don't need stamina. There really isn't much going on. Sure, there's a summer event. You could complete that in, like, one day, right? Um, but it would have been really, really nice if we didn't get the stamina for the summer and we got the stamina for the egg event instead, just because, again, of how much stamina the egg events do require and the RNG involved with it. So it would be really, really nice if we had it for the egg event instead. Um, however, uh, do keep in mind, we do still get the uh, 200 from our daily mission, so I guess that's not the... Uh, it's something, it's something, I guess. Um, again, not the best, but, I mean, what, what can we do? This... Like, of all the things the stamina system sucks for, at very, very high in that list is egg events, just because, like, it's not guaranteed drops. Unlike the summer thing or, or whatever other stuff, it's not guaranteed drops. These are all RNG. And, yeah, and every time you're not hatching an egg, uh, you know, every time you miss an egg drop means you're not hatching an egg. And that's how many hours of, of you know, just egg times missed it's really bad it's really bad um so that's unfortunate anyways um as for some other stuff we also have the items from the prize box uh from the Palky event also here um again courtesy to uh crash on on discord uh as for the Palky event um i think it's what uh four area infos that you need to get um first one again just gives you area infos also they give you you know among the other re regular stuff they also give you skip tickets as well, so if you want skip tickets, you probably want to go for those as well. I think it's 10 skip tickets each. Um, so there's three, four. There's four that I know of, right? Yeah, four new stage um, infos to get. And on the fourth one, you should be able to get Cyrus and Palky on that one. So uh, that's generally how that works, right? And then uh, it's, by the way, it is prize box, right? Um, and then... On to step five, you get 1.5k co-op sync words with an extra 100 uh, co-op sync words. I don't know why they, well, yeah, I, I don't know why they just didn't make it, you know, 1.5, uh, uh, 1 that makes no sense, 1.51k, 1,500 and, uh, uh, or uh, 10, or not even, how much is that? Oh, uh, 1.6k, never mind, 
Um, that's that's fifty, not five. You convert it to five. Uh, but yeah, I I mean I guess they just want to like fill the um prize box with more stuff. Uh, so there's that, and also still skip uh, skip tickets, and then next step, same stuff, right? Like five and six are exactly the same. Um, seven, uh, seven, you got a five star power up, and then two co op sync, uh, two of uh, fifty co op sync orbs, skip tickets again. Uh, eight's another five star power up with again the same stuff, co op sync orbs, skip tickets, and then step nine, we got the five star striker move candy, which is obviously fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, stuff for the Palkia event, and then after that, it's the same. You you know the it's it's a refreshable to step ten. Uh, every time you you know complete the prize box, just refreshes the pri prize box with these stuff. The prize grand prize is ten elite four notes, which is, uh, which is fine, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's the Palkia legendary event stuff. Uh, basically pretty similar to the whole stuff, right? You know, five star power ups, five star you know striker move candy. Except this time you got like more skip tick and stuff. Also co op sync orbs. Um, so it, it seems like this is probably the direction they want to go now. Um, in terms of uh, legendary events, right? I don't think we will be getting you know too many five out of five, twenty out of twenty legendaries in, in the future. And like here's the thing, like I was a huge advocate of yeah you know, I was out you know back when Ho's stuff got data mined. Um, I was, I was talking to DNA a lot every day, like, can you guys please make it 5 5 20 20 5 5 20 20 right? Uh, but eventually, they, they obviously did not go uh, with, with, with my suggestion, and uh, they went with whatever, you know, what they did instead, which is give us a 5-star move candy and, and the other stuff, um, which I, I guess is fair. Like, it's just that... Okay, like like here's here's the trade off that we're looking at, right? It's either a five out of five, twenty out of twenty legendary, um, that's slightly weaker, right? Um, or it's a one out of five, zero out of twenty legendary, that's slightly stronger, plus five star, you know, sh striker candy. Um, I guess the five star striker candy and a stronger legendary is probably better because both Palkia and and Ho probably, you know, among the best legendaries, right? Palkia should do the most damage of all the legendaries, and uh, Ho should do the third highest damage of all the legendaries, and plus burn, infinite sun, right? Um, move gauge charging, two gauge, 120 base power, move, all that stuff, right? Obviously. Um, and Palkia's just straight up damage. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, seconds were equated, by the way, for guards warning, which is kind of weird. But it also makes, you know, if you do the calculations, it, it, it checks out because it has weather surge 3. It's just that, obviously, you need to pick between, you know, um, pick your poison and, and, and throw in a lucky skill to, to make Rayquaza. It's not bad, but also still, you know, you can still use Irising you know, Kingdra instead. <laughs> Anyways, let's let's not get into the Rayquaza you know, debate thing, whatever. Um, but, yeah, it does seem like that's what they're trying to do here. Um, and, and again, like, it's unfortunate, it's unfortunate, um, but they're, in terms of overall rewards, I do think this, this system is better, however, I just personally like grinding for the 5 out of 5, 20 out of 20, I thought it was more fun, you got more stuff to do, right, um, instead of, you know, whatever this is, you just get your stuff and then, like, you're gone, Right, you're done with the event, which is definitely much shorter. If you don't like grinding, you probably like this. But if you like grinding, like me, uh, I probably prefer the old system better. Like even even if the legendaries are generally weaker, um, and you don't get the five star striker candy, which is you know it's it's from five star striker candy is huge. It's basically a free five star, right? Um, which you have to actually you know generally spend money or limited um, resources like gems to to acquire. But it's just more fun the other way. But I can also see the other argument now that it probably isn't a big, you know, really good idea to do that since stamina is now a thing. Um, <laughs> and now that stamina is a thing, if you're, you know, trying to like 5 of 5, 20 out of 20, it also might take forever. And, you know, if you're not like a hardcore, I will, you know, literally use up every bit of my stamina every day to grind the event. You know, if you slack off a bit, you might just miss the 5 out of 5, 20 out of 20 as well. So I I, I, I guess I could see why they're transitioning to this. Again, I probably prefer the old uh, system. But also the old system would also probably require us to not have stamina. Or else it's going to be 
pretty bad too, honestly, right? So, um, well, that's video this one, I guess. Again, thanks to many Emerald and folks for getting all this info for us. And uh, yeah, the uh, the event, um, now for those wondering, it's coming out on the 16th, right? Um, well, it depends on where you live, UDC or PST or whatever, right? Um, so there's that. Uh, so yeah, that's my with this one, I guess. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know guys think in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this series. We're on your channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. I'll see you guys in the next one.